Uh, this is uh, Prophet Shepherd M. Mesala, uh, the prophet of this generation. Viewers all over the world, as I am here, just to speak a few words concerning uh, the breaking news which you have heard about uh, the Minister of Information. Let me tell you what happened uh, on Chushka Sanda with uh, the director of uh, IBA, the former director of IBA. Uh, I started the program of getting a license of uh, Mesala TV and that license of Mesala TV, it was a Christian channel. I was qualified. I had everything. Everything was in place. I made the studio. I used my money to do all those things so that those things can be, can be done. But now the problem was uh, and the entire group they frustrated the whole process so that I cannot get that license. Let me tell you, children of God, they did all kinds of things. I just received a call from Tushka Sanda, the, the, the former Minister of Information. She called me on a phone call. She started blasting me, insulting me, I told Chushka Sanda saying, if I be a prophet of God, you can't speak such nonsense to a man of God. These words you have spoken upon my life, I raise a case upon your life. You shall never sit in that office. She thought I was joking. Problems started happening in our, in our office. Mysterious things started happening in her office. She wasn't wise enough to realize that I don't have... I, she, she wasn't wise enough to realize that she is having a case by insulting the man of God. She didn't realize all those things that she is having a case by insulting a man of God. She took it so personal, thinking because she has money, because the husband has been doing businesses in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the government and all that. Let me tell you, when a case comes upon your life, even your spouse will be affected. Even everything around you will be affected. When a man of God curses you, a prophet curses you, everything around you will receive a curse. As I am speaking, even their business contracts, they are receiving problems. It's not just being fired, but even their businesses, they are under a curse. Why whoever insults a prophet of God cannot just go freely? Cannot just go freely. Whenever a prophet of God is being insulted, you are insulting the Holy Spirit. You are insulting the Holy Spirit. Whenever you insult a man of God, you are insulting the Holy Spirit. So, who is attracting a case? Whenever you speak something concerning men of God, which is bad, you are getting a case. So, when she did all those things, she didn't know what she was doing. She called me, you were prophet, you were. You were prophet, you were. Fish of oil, Mona. Muri in your country, Zambia. Whom do you think you are in this country? She told me all those words. I told her, if I be a prophet of God, 
Tushika Sanda, you never stay in that office. And everything you touch, it shall fall apart. For insulting the spirit of God, for insulting a man of my caliber, a voice of God, a voice which made UPND to be in authority, I declared a weight. And that weight, it has affected her. Not it, everything she's touching is falling apart just by insulting one prophet. This is why you saw you people who were there on the crossover. I talked about it, although I was speaking in parables. And those people who knew me, you, you saw me talking about it, how things were, what and all that. Let me tell you, even to all those people who are used to insult men of God. Men of God are not people to be mocked. When prophets, they are speaking, you begin to mock them. Then you want all those things to begin to happen. You want it to happen. So Cassandra was insulting because she thought I'm high, she's highly connected to the president. She was looking on the relationship she had with the president. She was looking on the relationship the husband has with the president. But let me tell you, all the things they have been touching, they have been collapsing. Why? By insulting who? A prophet of God. I've seen even people, just mere individuals, look on those who insult prophets, how their lives become. And I'll speak all these things. Me, when I release a prophecy, and then you begin to insult my prophetic word, be lady for the consequences. When you see me, I go quiet. I've not responded. When I release a prophecy, don't think you have silenced me. But the outcome of the prophetic will come to pass. If there is something God has given me, is the spirit to speak what will come to happen. Even when I talk about saying, no, I'm seeing a celebrity, a musician is dying, and then you pay people, they start insulting me. Let me tell you, that those prophecies will come to pass. I've got nothing, nothing, nothing to hide or to tell you, no, because when you pay comedians, they insult, you think that I've handled the situation. I am not such a prophet. I am a prophet of results. One of my friends, who is an MP, he called to Shikasanda because one of my friends was there in the uh, during the crossover night when I raised that case. One of my friends called Kasanda. You let's go and apologize to Prophet Shepherd M. Mesala. Let's go and apologize. Chushkasanda refused. I cannot go and apologize to Prophet Mesala. Who is Prophet Mesala? I will not go and apologize. We are so connected to the president. I said, okay, you can be physically connected to the president, but the power of God is more above than even presidents. The power of God is more powerful than the presidents of, of, of any country. When God speaks through his prophet, the wise reason. I always say, there are prophets you can mock. There are prophets you can insult. There are prophets you can think, you can, you can speak anything. But you find that there are those, when they speak or you attack them, you insult them, the consequences will come upon your life. There was that lady when I was prophesying saying, Haka Inde Ichirema will be president of Zambia. A certain lady took it as politics, insulted me on Facebook through comments. What happened to that lady? She died. She died just by insulting a man of God on a comment and she received the case 
and she died. People in the copper belt, they said, why have you done this? It's not me. Pride destroys. Don't think when you become a minister, you become vice president, you become president, you think now you are above the authority of God. Let me tell you, under the sun, there are two authorities. There is the authority of man and the authority of God. The authority of God is being ministered by the powerful men of God, whom God has entrusted to declare a word, and the word comes to pass. This is the reason why myself, I don't fear anybody, because I carry the authority. How many attempts which they have tried to kill me? How many attempts in this country which they have tried to, to, to take my life? Why have they not managed? I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. So these things you are seeing, how many incompetence ministers do we have? We have a lot of incompetence ministers. A lot. When we mention UPND, is is a is 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 a, a bunch of full of ministers who are incompetent. So the reason why Cassandra she's fired, she's under a case by touching the anointed one. She's not the only one who has been fired. Even the director of IBA, the director of IBA, when I reached there, she sent her boys to tell me, saying, he tell him to go back and apply to, to, his, own, to his own house. Where is that he, he lady who was the former, uh, who was the, 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 the director? She has been fired. She has been fired just by sending away a prophet in, a, in an arrogance way. Let me tell you, Zambians, these Zambian prophets you mock, you can mock them. But there are those in the same land, like Prophet Mesala, you mock them by your own risk. You touch them by your own risk. I told all these things to Edgar Chagwarungu. I told him, I am a prophet who speaks the mind of God. Where is Edgar Rungu this time? He's no more. He's not in power again. So even to you, MPs, ministers in this new Don government, PS, police officers, let me tell you one thing. Let me warn you one thing to everyone who is watching me. There are two types of authority. And there's the authority of God and there's the authority of man. As prophets, we speak the mind of God. We carry the authority which is above presidents, which is above kings, which is above the, 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 the natural power. We carry the power of authority. When we declare a curse on a nation, a nation can be cursed. As I am speaking, Zambia is under a case. The whole leadership needs to repent. Because they will try so many things and things will not work. Because they are learning under a case. There is no way where a man can mock a prophet of God. You Just because you are a bank manager or you are a minister or you are what or you are a successful businessman. Let me tell you, there are two types of, this, of authority. The authority of money, the authority of this world, the authority of God. Men of God, they can create you. And men of God, again, they can destroy you. There is a prophet in the Bible where children just mocked him. And he cursed them. They died. The Bible is clear. Touch not my anointed one. So, Cassandra. The only thing I can tell you right now, if you are wise enough, come to church. Come to our church. You have my number. My number, Mrs. Gass you have it. 
because for you to call me you have my number you have my private phone number just call me just call me you come to church because even you you will you affect your husband's businesses you will affect your husband's businesses because of pride they don't mock prophets no matter how how, how powerful you have become on earth they don't mock prophets prophets they are too dangerous to be mocked not even a president can mock a prophet not even authorities can mock a prophet a prophet can speak a case and the case begins to learn on a nation not these prophets where you go and get two kwacha, where you go and get three kwacha, you give them three kwacha, you give them four kwacha, you give them five kwacha, and then when you give them those, they are saying everything you say, they are saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Let me tell you, they are prophets who have authority. They are prophets whom you cannot give those two kwachas. They are prophets whom you cannot buy with those 50 kwachas. They are prophets who are ordained by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when they speak, they speak the mind of God. When they declare a word, they declare it under the authority of the Spirit of God. And then many men of the people think like, because I am always quiet, I am not speaking, so they think like maybe I am such a prophet, whereby I am looking for five kwacha, three kwacha. Let me tell you, as I, was, as, as I always speak, I touched my first one million at 26, at 26 years old. That's when I touched one million dollars. So I always talk about what God has, has done in my life. And you are cross. You know that I'm not a prophet who is, who is looking for, for, for one kwacha, three kwacha, four kwacha. I'm a blessed prophet. I have everything already. I have everything already. 90% of these new dawn government people, they are, they are my friends. 90% of them. If I wanted money or I wanted business, it's very possible for me to get it. But I, I don't want that. Because I carry the authority which is above every power. I carry the spirit of God. When I declare something, I'm declaring it. Coming from God. So, you people who mock prophets... Even when you see people are worshiping God, they are praying, you begin to mock them, you think like maybe they, are, they, they don't have anything to do. Let me tell you, you will be attracting cases. You will be attracting cases. You will be attracting cases. So this, our sister, because of pride, arrogance she thought she is unshakable because my husband has got a good relationship with the president because i'm also having a good relationship with the president so i am unshakable you mesala what can you tell me the same mesala the same prophet shepherd m mesala declared on this soil of zambia for haka inde ichlema to be president and the same Mesala can declare a word of bringing confusion and not even his intelligence can able to contain when the spirit of confusion fall on this ground. I carry the spirit of God. I carry the authority of God. I am untouchable. No man can shake me because of the spirit of God which I have.